If you're new or on a budget, you don't need to spend a ton of money to get awesome sound. These are the best speaker amps from $60 to $600. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, pack a lunch because we got a lot of work to do. The Fozzy Audio TB10D usually comes in around $60. It has the Texas Instruments 3255 amp chipset inside. Also has tone controls. However, no Bluetooth, so you're going to need to hook something up to this as a source. But for $60, you are getting an amplifier that sounds good. You can beef it up with some Sasquatch 1000 weight gainer. I mean a different power supply, a 48 volt, five amp power supply. However, you need to take into consideration something. Size. The smaller an amplifier package, the less heat it can dissipate. And heat is our enemy, my friends, because the more heat you have on an amplifier, the less sustained power you're gonna get out of it. You don't like that? You wanna upgrade? I got you, I got just the thing for you. This is the AIMA A07. Max. This is, again, the same amp chipset 3255 Ti. But on the bottom it has ventilation. On the back it has offset speaker binding posts. Ooh, so luxurious. The thing about this one though is that you can run it in mono mode. These are on sale for around 80 bucks, sometimes even less. And you can get one which would be very similar to the Fozzy Audio TB10D. However, there are no tone controls. You could get one, get another, and then you have better channel separation, more power, all that good stuff. And it sounds Awesome. One of the biggest concerns I hear in the comments, and when I say I hear, I mean I read in the comments, is that a lot of these Chinese amplifiers haven't been on the market long enough to be considered reliable. I think fozzy has got a pretty good customer service. However, if you're concerned, then you just need to get yourself one of these. This, my friends, is the RSL IA255.1. Got USB right there. You got Bluetooth in the middle. And then you got a line in via RCA. Come on, focus, there we go. You also have some magic here on the back. This thing, mm, mm, what is that? It's a high pass filter, which means you can get cheap speakers and send the bass to the subwoofer. This is coming in at a mere $110. So if you're concerned about customer support, probably get the RSL IA255.1. Claims to be a true 55 watts bass and treble tone controls, also two-tone, beautiful construction. Mm, look at it. USB input, Bluetooth input, you have your regular RCA inputs, and you have a sub output and a high pass filter. Can't really complain about this thing. $110. You don't trust these little amplifiers? You want something a little bit bigger, a little bit more traditional? I got you covered there too. We got the Sony STRDH. 190. This thing used to go on sale for $99. It's now $200, but it does go on sale for $149. It's a full-size component. Also has Bluetooth. The construction is not great. A little cheap feeling. Claims to put out 90 watts times two into eight ohms. It's got four RCA inputs. It's got a dedicated phono input, which you know has got to be awesome when you're charging $150 for a traditionally distributed piece of audio equipment that's this big. I'm kidding here because it actually sounds pretty good. It's warm sounding. The Sony SSCS5 would be a great pairing with the Sony STRDH190. There's not a lot to complain about with this. I think it even has, yes, it even has a remote control. Great way to start your audiophile journey with a trusted name brand like Sony. The SMSL AL200 is one of my favorite little pieces of hi-fi componentry because it does so much in such a small form factor. It has a headphone amplifier on it too and an internal DAC and it has Bluetooth. It's got the Infineon MA5332MS two-channel Class D amplifier multi-chip module. Wow. Sounds really good though. Also has some baked in EQ settings and tone controls and a remote control. I don't have it. I think I gave this one away. I think this thing is brilliant and at $260, it is hard to argue with something that has so many features. However, there's one product that looks at the AL200, it laughs in its face. This is the Lox G A40. I just did a video on this 
and it's really good. And it has an HDMI ARC connection right there. Also has Bluetooth and also has USB input, also has an optical input, also has a coaxial input, also has a subwoofer output, also has a phono preamp and a headphone output. All for, uh, all for the low, low price of $255. Jam packed with all the yumminess. I think you'll have to wait on this one though. I guess if you order it, you'll get it April 15th. Also has a bunch of baked in EQ settings, but look at the ventilation on this. Look at the beautiful construction. Mm -hmm. Got a display, remote control. What more do you want for $255? Oh wait, are you gonna skip that five guys meal with your kids and save $45 or $70? Then you can get the Weem amp. The much celebrated and denigrated Weem amplifier comes in at $300. Subwoofer out, high pass filter, HDMI, fully functioning streaming platform. It has it all for $300. I've done a whole bunch of videos on it. I'll link one up here if you wanna check it out. But the Weem amplifier puts out 60 watts into eight ohms. But does it? Some say no. But does it matter? No, it really doesn't matter. If you got $300 though, that's probably where I would spend it. Oh wait, you got an extra $50 from the kids softball stuff they don't use anymore? That $300 bat, did you get $50 for it? Then you can get the Yamaha AS301. Now, we are talking about some real hi-fi yumminess. Internal DAC, internal phono preamp, very nice speaker binding post, a lot of power remote control, traditional component size, and it sounds awesome, and it has a variable loudness control. Mmm, I love loudness control. You want something more traditional though? Hmm, I got just the thing for you. The Cambridge AXA35 puts out lower watts on paper, but in my experience can drive just about anything you put on it. The AXA35 from Cambridge Audio comes in at 300 and $99. No DAC inside, so it's all RCA. This is just an analog amplifier, so you're going to have to have some type of source for it. It does have a phono preamp, and this thing sounds rich and lush and awesome. Also has a five volt, 500 milliamp output on the back, which means you can power your own Weem Mini or your own Weem Pro Streamer on here and you're dancing. Be brilliant sounding. Toroidal Transformer, it's awesome. It's $400. If you don't need that much power, you can also get the AXA25. That comes in at $100 less. We're gonna go back a little bit cheaper. We're gonna talk about the Fozzy Audio ZA3. Very similar to the A07 Max from Aima, except this one a lot bigger, has a little bit more space for heat dissipation. The one thing you can do on both of these amplifiers though is switch out the op amps inside them, kind of like switching out tubes, except they're not dumb like tubes. They're cool because they're op amps, very hefty. You can also run this in mono, which means or channel separation and all that stuff comes in at $150. If you change out the op amps though for something like the Sparkos op amps, which I would highly recommend, you're probably gonna be into this thing for another 150 bucks. So at that point you are at what, 50, $300. So it's gotta be up to you. You wanna get this and have it sound real, real nice. Also has balanced inputs on the back. Or do you wanna get something a little bit more traditional like the Yamaha AS301, like the Cambridge Audio AXA 25 or 35. It's up to you, you're the customer, you're the one that is right, not me. Don't let me tell you what you should get. You decide, you have the power. But I love the ZA3 because you can grow with it. You can get one, get started, add some op amps, buy another one, add op amps to that one. Also has a subwoofer output right there. A lot of options for this thing. You want a steel right now and you have $500, then you should get the Emotiva. TA1. This is a traditional integrated amplifier, has Bluetooth, has a DAC, has subwoofer out. Does this thing have bass management too? This does have bass management at 90 hertz. Also can be a preamp, so you can buy this 
and then you can use it as a preamp later into a different amplifier if you want to. So this amp can grow with you. Sounds awesome, has a cool remote control. Bunch of features, moving magnet and moving coil phono preamp. The TA1 at $500 is an absolute steal. And we are going to end this list with the Rotel A10 Mark II. Comes in at $600, no DAC, but it's gorgeous and it sounds awesome. I have the A11 Mark II brilliant integrated amplifier. This is kind of the stripped down version, doesn't have the DAC on it. You have a ton of options when it comes from amplifiers from $60 all the way up to $600. And if you're just starting off your audio file journey, then you should really check out this video right here. My favorite speakers from cheap to expensive. Click on it right here, you're gonna love it. Thank you for watching.